Vietnamese village. It's called uh, Kenja. Yeah. Really quiet, a lot of animals. Really, really. You can hear that. Authentic, I think. And it's funny that you see like just these poor areas, and maybe on the background there is like three floors building. So yeah. Fun. Missing seeds. Yeah, it's perfect spot for eating seeds uh, close to the sacred pagoda. And you like also the lady who was trying to sell us. Yeah, but it's a normal stuff, so I'm paying too much attention to that. So. It's really nice, quiet, and you see it's a really great view, so you can walk other way as well somewhere. We'll explore it a bit later. You have some great selection of craft-made souvenirs here so but be aware of the ladies that will follow you and will just put in your hands some stuff yeah like this exactly like this exactly like this we just went for a hike there and the guy just started to following us and uh, showed out the cave, his private cave. And he made us uh, maybe 10 minutes here, spend us here. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This is like a mini apartment here. Wow. It's so humid, sweating from, from nothing. I'm doing all right. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, not, it's not that bad. I need to change my pants, man. Yeah. <laughs> but it's impressive. You can live here. It's like a, an apartment. You wouldn't breathe well. But yeah, not much air comes in. Yeah. It was nice. It's very good, yeah. No yeah. English at all. Well, and you, now you hear how it starts raining again. Order our first logos, probably like 15 of them, different colors, different sizes. Just to check it out, how they look like and, and how does it work in general. We put a couple on fleeces. We're at the Fat DM complex. It is a Roman Catholic cathedral here. And not Buddha. Nothing about Buddha here, no, no. You can see crosses and everything, so that's why they're making all this decoration for Christmas, Catholic Christmas. Um, what well, it makes sense actually, no? It's getting rainy here in Vietnam. 
<coughs> it's not that hot. So, Meh. for a positive side. Mm. Ba, hi. Yeah. Come on. Hey. Thank you. Can Thank we you. talk a little bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. The people preserve it, and we can go around it. There's some 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 places you can can go go into. Mm. You cannot sit here. So this is summer. You cannot jump over. Okay. I was very curious. Are you happy with your school uniform? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Maybe you want the Hello Kitty one or something. Uh... Every every um, you know, window will lock. We cannot go into it. Unless we break it. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you praying also or no? No. <laughs> High five! <laughs> Kofung! Of course! Of course it's Kofung! <laughs> what do you think about the attention from the local girls? It was unexpected. Yeah. They were keen to speak with some foreigners. Yeah, and everyone was really excited taking pictures, videos, and so I guess there are not that many tourists here. I wish the environment around this place was better because you can see straight after there are like just some buildings, you know. I wish it was like maybe emptiness or just trees, something like that create kind of this atmosphere. It's sad to say goodbye, but <laughs> we need to go. It's not okay. I mean, <laughs> so food writing right now. <laughs> At the first place when we got this massive attention from the local population and we have to say goodbye and leave. Even during the simple lunch, you can learn so many new things. Train station of Ninbi. We are heading to Tanhua in order to take a bus to Laos. The main reason for our unpredictable move is the wet season in the central of Vietnam. It's actually not bad, huh? And I, th it I think they made a restoration a couple of years ago, so it still looks nice. And the tickets, They're like airplane tickets. Yeah, we have a boarding pass. I think these guys are living there. House on the wheel. It's up very comfortable. I think we took the cheapest ticket we could. Yeah, I chose the best one for us. It's just an hour ride, so we'll be alright. We'll survive. You want some snack? Oh, we have a massive bag. We just got the like real good shopping yesterday. And it's going much faster than the buses. We don't have to stop every five minutes to pick up some passengers. It is really cheap. For the same ride on the bus, we would pay like 90. Here we pay, we spend like 30. We have a toilet, everything, all like the restaurant, all facilities here, so you can live here. From the quantity of the fans, it's, we, we made a conclusion that it can be really hot here and during the summer. December here, and I think this is the coldest month. Hey, that's it. Hello, yeah. that's it. Oh, okay. Move, move, move. Walk it, walk it. Legs, strong legs. <laughs> it's so tricky to find information about if you can go from Tanhoa to Lao and we see what's gonna expect us on the border. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, I think the journey will take uh, 12 hours or 10 hours. Yeah, he wrote down that we will be there at 8 in the evening, so... I think they will pick up anyone who can pay on this bus just to, to make some money. Makes sense, but for us it's a bit... Hmm. And waiting for the last scooters they will put on the roof and we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah, yeah it's very funny how they put the scooters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bus looks alright actually, yeah? the seats at least. Because it's empty and it'll be packed. Yeah. You wouldn't enjoy that that much, I guess. So on the bus station, we spoke with the guy on the ticket office, 
and West Ham actually go to, to Lao and we had a nice paper when he wrote departure at 10, arrive at 20 o'clock, the price is 300, for two is 600 and uh, now we're starting the most interesting part is the guy came to me and he asked for money so I gave him, I gave him 600 and uh, I, I said it's for me and for you and what he started to ask is one is 600 and uh, I took out this paper and I showed it to him that look we on the bus station we show this and this and this and he left to speak with the driver let's wait until he comes back and uh, what you see saying that it cost 500 of their money instead of 300. Mm -hmm. One, 300. Most probably they will not take us on the next ride after the border, but it means that we try not to pay at all. And one, 300. We just passed the Vietnamese border the stamps on the way out and we need to get the lowest visa now. Yeah, we had a quite big discussion regarding the tickets and payment. Uh, they want all, price, all, all payment and they want 1 million instead of 600,000. So we, we say that we don't have any money, we have only three or 600 and we pay half and the rest we pay when we get with the visa and uh, with the lowest visas and, we, and we're going forward. Finally arrived to Lao. It was quite a trip. Bus drivers tried to take advantage of the tourists, so they just started like, no, it's 600 per each, like double price. And we're like, no, 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 it's 300. So I show in the paper and everything. I and don't so know. You telling it as it sounds like it was okay, easy going. In reality, it was pain in the ass. And the annoying thing is, you leave with the bus, you you go for one hour. After he comes to you and asks for money, so he says you this stupid price. You say you try to explain something, he goes back to the seat. And after one hour, he comes back again. When you're and getting really close to the border. And that kind of. hour, I don't know, most people will be thinking so if they drop us, if they stop the bus, and they, you know, you have uh, random thoughts in the head. So that, that part is annoying. And that will be happening, I think, all, all the time for tourists. But the border, the bus driver, he came to the, one of the officials of the border. And he started to say, oh, look, these guys, they, they're not paying us. This so official starts to speak, he spoke English, so he started to speak yeah. to us. Hey, guys, you need to pay this and this. So I'm starting to explain to him that... We look, want to pay, actually. We, we <laughs> want to pay, but we pay 300 each. So it's 600 total. And what and he said at the end, it was funny because he's like, oh, look, but this, the price 300 is price for locals, but like not for tourists. And I'm just like, no, 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 oh, that's what they said. We you know, the we ticket office. Say. Yeah, so, so at the end, they just, we want you to pay, if no, we don't go forward. And we said, no, we don't go forward. And <laughs> what we did is we said, look, we, we're afraid that you're going to leave us here. So we're not going to pay until, uh, until we're with the visa in the bus. We said we pay half now and pay uh, half uh, the, the other half later. On the, in, on the bus. All this conversation was going through this official. So he was kind of involved in this bargain. In he, yeah. <laughs> For, for the visa it was easy. They charge us 40 bucks. Maybe they charge everyone, no receipts, nothing. And the officials, they like oh. new money. They need to be nice, otherwise they, yeah, they oh, start to make you problems. Give him an, another one. Yeah, that's the he thing. He changed Just two times, 20 dollars. There is massive difference as well, like officials, Vietnamese officials, nicely dressed uniforms, and officials in Laos. It just Jesus. like... Adidas, Rita. Yeah, like everyone just come like from, I don't know, from this people with from the street just met there yeah, and decided they're going to do the border with a big control gold, With a big golden ring. So in two words about this uh, border crossing is, it's working, you can do it. And just agree up front with the bus drivers. Be clear, how much is it, write it down. And be positive. Voila, take some <laughs> snacks because it's nine hours. We're continuing Laos. Yeah. Woohoo!
Yeah, man. High so five. It was a good experience, huh? Ah, 